PUBG in Minecraft. The magic of Four World Studios has done it again with this Players Unknown Battleground add-on for Minecraft right here. So if you want it for yourself, download link is in the description down below. It comes with a resource pack and behavior pack, so make sure both are active. And in the game world settings that these experimental gameplay features are enabled, all the creative features, custom biomes, and upcoming creative features. But without further ado, generate the world and hop straight in. Now, before we begin, I would like to say this is a very bare bones experience currently. Of course, they'll update it in the future and add plenty of new things to it. But currently, it's just the basics of PUBG in Minecraft. So if you're excited, please support them. Of course, their links will be in the description down below. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, as you can see, I've spawned in a structure here where you can find all around Minecraft now, these different types of structures. So there's one down there, one's here, one's there. All over the place, there's one through the trees there. But let's get to the actual items before we explore these different types of structures. The first thing you may notice is if you crouch, you actually crawl, which is very unique. I like the model. And if you crouch even more, you slowly crawl. You might be wondering, does it just change the first person perspective? No, not really. But it does allow you to crawl through one wide blocks like so, even though I can't really see, but you can crawl through those one wide poles now very easily. And if I were to go even to survival, now if you're in survival, you do actually take a bit of damage. So just take note of that, but you can crawl through one block spaces to just take a bit of damage. Now, if you want to get up from lying down, all you need to do is jump and then you're back to normal. So let's move over here to this chest. This is all the items currently in the game. They, of course, will add stuff in the future, but let's just go over a few of the simple ones. We have the different levels of armor that you get in PUBG. So we got the level one, level two and level three stuff. So let's just slap on that armor. So this is level one, level two and level three with increasing amount of coolness moving on we have all the different weapons currently in the game it's just every like one weapon for every different ammo type so let's just grab this right here i'll show you how you can actually get the red guns in a bit but let's just start out with this so we have the pistol here it looks like this if you crouch nothing really changes with the pistol but for the other guns it does so this you just kind of shoot like this, just right click and you can shoot and you can see your ammo count in the middle of the screen there. Now it says once you run out of ammo, it says reload like so. You might wonder how exactly can you do it? Well, it's very simple. So this is a like a little handgun here. It uses the smallest amount of ammo. So we just put it in the F hand slot like that. And then when you click again, it will reload and then you can shoot. So that works with all the different types of gun. Of course you have the red variant of the gun i'll show you in a while how to get that let's move on to this different type of weapon here let's use the m416 so i believe it's it's the 556 ammo so let's just put that in our fan slot and now with this you can see it has a scope so if you crouch you actually have a little dot sight in the middle of your screen and you can kind of just shoot all the weapon out let's continue to empty out this weapon here Okay, so now we have officially ran out of ammo and we have the different ammo in our F hand slot. So it should reload and there you go. Of course, if you're wondering how this looks in third person, it looks like this. I look very menacing right now. And if you're walking around with a weapon, you kind of like hold it in a very cool way. I absolutely love that. And if you stand still, you kind of like point. Moving on to the different types of weapons we have. Let's go with the shotguns right here. Throw that on. This is how the shotgun looks. It looks amazing and if you crouch you have another little sight so let's just shoot all the ammo out of this gun so now we're at the lowest let's we have the ammo in the earth hand and we can reload for the final weapons in the game we have the viz so yeah let's throw that on there and the viz is by far the most sniper like rifle in the game that so zooms you in incredibly far and it's also semi automatic which means you can just kind of spam click it so if you're wondering how you get the red variants of the initial gun, so far there's only one way in the game, well one different color you can get, but it's using a spray can. So obviously in the future they're going to add more different variants of it, but if you simply take this into your crafting recipe with that, you can change the color into the different type. So from the normal to the red, and you can, this applies to all the different versions. Moving on to the final few things, we have got a grenade, we've got some bandages and an energy drink and a loot crate that you will find naturally spawning in the different structures in the world. So let's just throw out the grenade and let it explode, it deal a lot of damage to the structure. So that definitely can kill a person super easily. And it does a huge amount of damage. 
Moving on, we've got bandages. Now, you get when you use it, you get some regeneration, a very high level of regeneration at that. So take note of that. We got an energy drink. So this is in the game, makes you run faster and gives you a slight amount of regen. So if you drink it in this game, you also get speed and some regeneration, which is nice. And finally, we've got the loot boxes, which spawn in structures like this. So you can place it down. Normally, they'll be already placed, but I, I stole it from creative. And if you simply break it, it will drop the items that you can get so it's kind of like your loot drops that you let in like battle royale games allow you to get the different types of weapons so this gives you a nice like four different items and armor in that so it's very useful and if we were to go over to this side here there's another structure that spawned you can see it spawns like that naturally but there's one thing i haven't shown you yet and that's how much damage these weapons do so let's just find a random mob in the game target acquired and we'll just, sorry little chicken, but it has to be done. Boom. Okay, now chickens don't have that much house. <laughs> Health. So let's let's find something different. Okay. Another target has been found. It's a panda. So let's shoot it. And you see it two shots. So it does a lot of damage to mobs and people alike. So take that into consideration. But there you have it. That's the PUBG add-on for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. If you did enjoy, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But other than that, I hope you did enjoy and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.